Hey, welcome to Contra Thoughts. My name is Richard. This is episode nine. We don't need mothers. Up next. All right, so we've got some great content today. Hope you enjoy it. It's going to be a little offensive. Uh, that'll probably be good for some people and maybe not for others. Uh, but that's okay because the truth sometimes offends people. And it's better to say it and be offended and think about it than just sit and stare at a wall or a screen and be entertained to death. So this is going to be a little bit longer of a video than some of my other ones. Episode 9 here. We're going to be talking about mothers. We don't need mothers. Who needs moms? Who needs daughters and sisters and aunts? Who needs wives? Apparently not some people. We have a statement last week that... Congressman, Congressperson, <laughs> Cory Bush, not a man, maybe not even a woman, it's hard to say, a Democrat from Missouri. She's a Democrat, or they are a Democrat from Missouri. She is also a nurse. I can't do it, sorry. I think she identifies as a woman, so we'll just go with that. She also talked to Congress and said that she had experienced racism during her pregnancy and her birth or excuse me, her birth of her child, and uh, systemic, and this and that. Now, it's, that might be possible, and that's a heinous thing, and I'm sorry that happened to you. Uh, but if it's actual racism, right? Not like, you know, drinking a Coke versus a Diet Coke, and now you're racist, or being on time to work, or having, you know, a family that's, you know, a mom and a dad and uh, kids at home, that being racist. Everything's racist these days. You know, you can say anything's being racist. You can even just be racist based on how you look, which is racist in and of itself, but... You know, who really cares about that? Uh, we don't want to talk about facts or actual reality or anything like that when we're pushing an agenda and ideology. But she said that she had experienced racism and uh, told a story about it. It was very emotional and so on. But she used the term black birthing people. Now, I want to hone in on the birthing people for a moment. Not just women, but birthing people. Now, there's men and women, boys and girls, right? That's all. Uh, and that's been the case for ever, up until very, very, very recently, when all of a sudden now everything's changed and we're told that something else is true. Even going back to Christ himself in Mark 10, saying in the beginning, God created the male and female. That, of course, quoting Genesis, and he's affirming uh, creator God creating man and woman. He also says that in Matthew, but, you know, who cares about the Bible? Although, if you do care about the Bible and you say you're a Christian, but you still support this nonsense, then you either support this and you're rejecting God, which, fine, do that, but don't lie and say you're a Christian. Or, you're a Christian, you don't support this, right? It's it's They're mutually exclusive. They're oil and water. They cannot both comport. But even if you're not a Christian, even if you're not a person of uh, biblical faith, you should at least embrace science, which says that men are men and women are women, and women have babies, not men. But here we're talking about strictly women and quote unquote men having babies birthing people genesis 3:16 also says i will sharply increase your pain in childbirth in pain you will bring forth children now this is god talking to the woman because of the curse because of the fall of the human race and ultimately all of creation which groans waiting for the redemption of the sons of god that both in genesis 3 and of course romans 8 this is Reality. This is what actually is. Men are men. Women are women. Men have certain parts. Women have other parts. We're intrinsically different in every way, uh, but we're also complementary. And that's science, right? Women have babies. Men don't have babies. But apparently now in this new ideology, this new kind of rewritten world uh, in which we supposedly live, now men can have babies too. And we have to refer to them as birthing people. Now, of course, we just had Mother's Day and, you know, they want to change it to Birthing People's Day or Birthing Person's Day or, you know, something that just sounds so lovey and kind. Uh, but again, that's utter nonsense. And, you know, it's not inclusive, they say, but they have Father's Day. Well, that's not inclusive either. Well, well what else is there? <laughs> I mean, if you, even if you have two moms, well, celebrate both moms on Mother's Day or two dads, celebrate both on Father's Day. But that's not inclusive because ultimately what they want to do, they don't care about inclusivity. They don't care about tolerance or equality. They want to tear down anything and everything that has existed that has built us up this far. They want to take advantage of everything they have and destroy the entire foundation and hope that they can somehow squeeze a new foundation in there 
based on what, I'm not really sure, but squeeze a new foundation in there before the whole thing collapses. Maybe. Or they just want to have the whole thing collapse and like a phoenix rise out of the ashes, which, you know, is probably what's going to happen. But real science says that men don't have babies. But she says here, every day, black birthing people and our babies die because of doctors don't believe our pain. My children almost became a statistic. I almost became a statistic. So listen to how emotional that is. What is she talking about? She doesn't give any examples, at least not that I can see. Maybe she gave examples elsewhere or something. But she wants to talk about statistics. Now, she doesn't actually give any statistics. She just uses the word statistic. Well, let's give some statistics. Statistics. That's a great... uh, That was my favorite math class in college, by the way. A little trivia. How about the fact that 79% of abortion mills are in minority communities? Yeah. Or the fact that black babies die three, four, five, six, seven times more frequently than any other ethnicity. In 2014, 36% of abortions, quote, were performed on black women who are just 13% of the population, the female population, not the overall population, the female population. So there's 87% of other um, ethnic groups of women, 87%, but of the 13%, One-third of the abortions are performed, over one-third, on black women. This is far higher than deaths via cancer, violent crime, heart disease, AIDS, or accidents. End quote. Let that sink in for a moment, please. And while you do that, go ahead and click like and subscribe and uh, click the notification bell. It would really help me out. Margaret Sanger, founder of Planned Parenthood, also praised by Hillary Clinton and many other women, Uh, in Hollywood and on the left, the lefties, for those identifying figures with racist roots who should be removed from public view uh, because of their evil histories. Planned Parenthood's founder, Margaret Sanger, must join that list. She advanced Controversial Negro Project. She wrote in her autobiography, Speaking Well of the Ku Klux Klan group, and advocated for eugenics approach to breeding for the, quote, And she says here, the gradual suppression and elimination of eventual and eventual extinction, extinction of deficient stocks, excuse me, defective stocks, defective stocks, those human weeds which threatened the blooming of the finest flowers of American civilization, end quote. So Miss Sanger, probably not married, maybe she was, who knows, doesn't matter. She says that there's deficient stocks, defective Same word. Human weeds. Now, even if she's not talking about people with more melanin, even if she's not talking about them, that's still abundantly, insanely racist. Why? Because she's saying, I want to kill these people because they're deficient. And who decides they're deficient? Well, not them, because if they did, then they would live. But me and my, you know, group of people. That's what the Nazis did. Like, literally, that's what the Nazis did. And anybody who says otherwise, you're lying. You're just lying and you're being willingly deceptive and totally ignorant. Now, there's some that say, oh, you know, when Ben Carson or Herman Cain, some uh, politicians on the right, or maybe like a Clarence Thomas or somebody like that who brings these sorts of things up and says, Margaret Sanger was a racist and Planned Parenthood's a racist organization, which it is, but, you know, they will, the left will get their wall of media, which is about 95 probably percent left, high left, far left. Uh, commie left these days especially that most of it is just pushed back oh no that's debunked oh well we fact check that well you know you need don't let no, 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 wizard of Oz. don't look it over here no, no no there's nothing nobody's behind this curtain look at the big scary image up here further and just take a pause to read this we do not want word to get out that we want to exterminate i mean that's shocking it's shocking and it, and it should cause you pause. I don't bring these up to be shocking, but to shed light on the reality that these things are indeed wicked. They are, are evil. They are wrong. And again, to call something evil has to have a standard. You have to have a standard for right and wrong. You can't say, you know, I'm being evil or I'm being racist if your worldview is simply materialistic Darwinian evolution. If you just think that molecules created everything and we're just this determined race, then it Really, it doesn't matter what I say or what you say. But if a biblical worldview is true, that there is laws because there is a lawgiver, there are rules because there is a rule giver, and he desires relationship with his creation, 
then there is a real right. Murder is really wrong. Racism is really wrong. Abortion is really wrong. It's wrong to abuse women. It's wrong to harm children. It's wrong to lie. All these things are wrong because God is the lawgiver. You can't account for those things in a materialistic worldview. Not at all. Martin Luther King Jr. stated in Strength to Love, one of his uh, works, the church must be reminded that it is not the master or the servant of the state, but rather the conscience of the state. And I hope that's what's going on here. Pushing against this because who else is going to do it? No one in the mainstream media is going to do it. And the overall government is just completely off the rails. I mean, it's not a new thing. Uh, the government's been off the rails for quite some time. It's just kind of took a reprieve for the last four years. But now it's, you know, full steam ahead with Barack Biden. And yeah, great. Yes, I said Barack Biden. Um, politicians argue for abortion largely because they do not want to spend money, necessary money, to feed, clothe, and educate more people. Here, arguments for inconvenience and economic savings take precedent over arguments for human value and human life. Psychiatrists, social workers, and doctors often argue for abortion on the basis that a child will grow up mentally and emotionally scarred. <gasps> but who of us is complete? No one. All of sin and fall short of the glory of God, the scripture tells us, right? We're all fallen. Even the most uh, greatest person, you still don't match even yourself. You don't even add up to yourself. Take a moment. You watching, think about all the things that you totally don't do, that you want to do, that you think you should do, that you don't do. And how often you even let yourself down. And if you're your own God, well, you're a horrible God. <laughs> because you give your own laws that you can't even keep. If incompleteness were the criterion for taking life, we'd all be dead. And that comes, there's more of the quote. I'll leave it there. That comes from Jesse Jackson. Yes, the Jesse Jackson, 1977. That was when he was pro-life. Then he switched because he wanted to run for a Democratic uh, primary as a Dem in 1980. And he changed his view on abortion. Ted, the Kennedys did that. Many others did that as well through the 70s and the early 80s. Sadly, many people are abused, right? But they're abused because people are wicked. People are sinful. People are fallen. Not because of materialistic evolution. The survival of the fittest, there's no ramification or justification one way or the other. You can't define that and say, well, that's wrong. Based on what? How, how, how can we say that that's wrong? You can't ultimately say it's wrong unless there's a law in which it says it's wrong. That's what the law is for. Not to keep you righteous, but to understand that you are not able to keep the law. Right? The law came, 10 commandments in particular, there's 700 plus commandments in the Old Testament, don't forget. But the law came and reigned to show us that we need Christ. The whole book of Galatians is all about that. Go read it if you're interested. I'd highly recommend it. It's only six chapters. But we have to say, what are these, what are these people even doing? They're, they're lying. They're saying men can have babies. They're dis be but at the same time, they're saying, well, this is wrong. Racism's wrong. Abortion's fine. Racism's wrong. Well, they're both wrong, <laughs> right? And I'm saying that as a Christian, a follower of the Lord Jesus, because he's the one who upholds all things by the word of his power. He is the one who defines truth. He is the word, the logos, the pure logic, the pure truth that defines reality. He makes reality, not us. I'm not making this up. You're not making this up. And you think, oh, maybe you're going to do this or that. Not so. Cori Bush, not going to happen. Sorry, girl. Um, she's including in the Mommies Act and many other things. There's too much here. But men can have babies. I'm Richard. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Click the button below. Um, I really appreciate that. Click the little bell notification so you know when I upload another video. Helping you be against the world for the sake of the world. Take care. <laughs> this is why you need a producer, because I just recorded no audio. Yeah, that's fine.